Hey guys back with our video for my addictive blogging channel so in this video I will be discussing how we can install the whatsapp app in the samsung galaxy watch 4. So whatsapp app has been a very important app for the watch but there is no definite whatsapp app in the play store as whatsapp is not yet supported in the wear os so in this video we will forcefully install the whatsapp app in the watch and definitely not only we will install but we will also see what are the things we can do with the whatsapp app in this watch whether whatsapp voice call and video call are supported or whether we can send emojis and these stickers by whatsapp or whether we can send the live location we will see all the things we can do with the whatsapp app in this watch and obviously as always this video will be a sick video guys and if you are a tech understand don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos like this so let's start so to install the whatsapp on your watch the first step what you need to do is download the whatsapp apk which will be available in the official website of whatsapp and once you go to the official website you will see that there will be a download option i will leave the link of this in the description of the video so that you can download it from there so you just need to click on the download now option make sure you are downloading the official app which will be available in the official website of whatsapp you just need to click on the download now and you need to download the whatsapp apk once you have downloaded the apk you need to come to play store and from there you need to download one app which is known as the easy fire tools this is the app which you need to download and this is the app which will help you to install the whatsapp app on the samsung galaxy watch 4 so once you have installed you need to open the easy fire tools app and once you open that you have to connect your samsung galaxy watch 4 with this app so to connect the easy fire tools with the samsung galaxy watch 4 you need to come to the settings of the watch and obviously you need to switch on the developer option to switch on the developer option you need to go to about watch and if you scroll down you will get the software info and here if you click on that you will get the software version so you have to just click multiple times on the software version until you get this message developer mode turned on once you have turned on the developer mode then you have to come to the developer mode option in the settings of the watch and turn on adb debugging so for this you need to just enable this adb debugging option and also you need to enable debug over wi-fi so make sure the watch is connected in the same wi-fi network with which your phone is also connected and also in the wireless debugging you need to turn on wireless debugging and here you will get the ip address so this ip address you want to put in the easy fire tools app so for this you need to again come into the easy fire tools app and click on the icon at the top right corner and it will be connected automatically so i have already connected before with the watch so that's why it has been connected if you are connecting for the first time you have to come to the settings and in the ip address you have to give the same ip address which will be showing in the debug over wi-fi option excluding the last four digits so here you can see i have given the same ip address and once you give the same ip address and click on this connection icon at the top right corner the app will be connected with your watch and now you are ready to install the whatsapp apk so let's see how we can install this so you have to come to the custom apk file and in the custom apk file you need to select the whatsapp so i have already downloaded the whatsapp and selected whatsapp from there and now i am ready to install it on my watch so i will be clicking on the install option so once i click on the install option you will see it will be getting installed on the samsung galaxy watch 4 so here you can see it is transferring the app into the watch and it will take a bit of time it will not be instantly done because you can see it is a 52 mb file which will be transferred onto your watch at the same time the watch will try to install the whatsapp on there so this app is a full fledged android app which is getting transferred to this watch although it is not optimized for wear os 
we are side loading and forcefully installing the whatsapp app on this watch so it will take some time and once it is done i will be back with the whatsapp app on the watch so here you can see i have just now completed installing the whatsapp app on my samsung galaxy watch 4 and the whatsapp icon is present now on the watch so i will be configuring the whatsapp from the scratch and show you guys whether it is working or not on the samsung galaxy watch 4 so first of all let's open the whatsapp and once i open the whatsapp the same whatsapp layout will be there as we see in the android phones so here you can see welcome to whatsapp i have to click on this arrow again we need to agree and continue the terms and conditions of whatsapp and here i need to add my phone number with which i will be configuring my whatsapp so first of all i need to choose my country so let's choose the country and after i choose the country i have the option to put the phone number in there so let's put my phone number and configure it first so here you can see i have just now verified my number and now it is asking me to give the permission of the contacts i will click on continue and obviously i will click on allow the basic permissions it will take and it will also look for backup so this is a very important thing because backups are really important when it comes to whatsapp and it is asking me to whether restore the backup but i will not go with the backup now so i have added my name also and i will just click on the next option so once i click on next option it will give me the initializing screen which it will just initialize the whatsapp for the first time in the device and let's see whether it is working or not as a normal whatsapp and whether we are able to send messages from this whatsapp or not whatsapp is configured now and now if i try to open the whatsapp it is not opening so to make it work we have to do another workaround so we have to install another app which is there in the play store so in the play store you need to search for contacts so this is the app you need to install which comes with the name of google contacts so i have already installed the app and this app will help you to send or receive messages also after you install the app you have to open the app and once you open the app you will get all the contacts which are there in your phone so all the contacts will be already synced with your google account so here you need to search the person to whom you want to send the message so here i have searched my number and if i just click on this number you will see i will get numerous options to send the message and there i will get the option of whatsapp so i need to click on whatsapp and click just once and once i click just once you will see the normal whatsapp screen as the whatsapp is not optimized to the wear os we are not able to send any text messages so if we are trying to open the keyboard the keyboard will not open but we can do some things like obviously share the voice messages so to send the voice message we can just click on this voice icon and send a voice message to the number you can see the voice is already getting recorded once i will be sending it i will be getting a notification on my whatsapp so here you can see i have got a notification that i have received a message and also we can do certain things like we can voice call the person and obviously we can also video call the person over whatsapp so this is a really really important thing you will be getting for the galaxy watch 4 you can directly voice call over whatsapp and also video call is also possible but the thing is we don't have the camera on our samsung galaxy watch 4 that's why the video call will not be there but obviously voice call will be there and we can send certain attachments or photos also you can see that if we want to share anything like our location we can definitely do that via the whatsapp so here you can see i am sending the latest location and the location is sent now and obviously the sharing will happen because the gps comes with the samsung galaxy watch 4 and also we can do certain things like we can definitely send any gif file or stickers or anything like that so uh, most of the functions we can do but definitely we cannot send any text message 
and to send a text message google assistant is there via google assistant we can share text messages so if you want to know that i will leave a link to that video in the description so that you can understand how to send the text message via whatsapp but for now we can do these things which are available in the whatsapp app and the most important things are being the whatsapp call and the whatsapp voice message sharing so these are the things which we can do with the whatsapp app in the samsung galaxy watch 4 till now i will be making a video if new features are added and if we get a workaround with which we can share messages also via the whatsapp in this watch so that's it guys i just wanted to show you how we can install the whatsapp app and what are the things we can do with the whatsapp app in the samsung galaxy watch 4 i hope you have liked this video if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos like this thank you guys have a great day thank you